Hello everyone. Well guys, uh, today I am going to teach you this grammar book and the name of the book is English Grammar in Use written by Raymond Murphy. And today I am going to teach you Unit 6. If you want to get the PDF of this book, you must go to my Telegram channel of which name is English with Chandra. If you don't get it, go to the description box where you can get the link of the Telegram channel clicking which you can access to my channel and from there you can download this PDF if you want to work on this book. So I have already taught you uh, unit 1 to 5. Now this is unit 6. Here we are going to learn about past continuous tense. And you will understand the difference between past indefinite and past continuous. And after completion of this chapter, you have to do some exercises so that you can have a great command. So without any further ado, Let's get started everyone. Okay, fine. I will read this chapter and if I find I can write something and make you understand. Okay, the way I want. So let's get started. Let me pick any color. Here we go. So guys, it is written past continuous. Okay, and one sentence is given I was doing. So past continuous means of course we have to use either was or were and v4 means verb plus ing so look at the situation first if you talk about the situation as you can see here oh you can see here there is a guy okay and there is a girl these two people are playing okay the time is around 10 30 we can see this in this picture so let's see the situation written yesterday karen and joe played tennis so we are talking about two people there is a guy named karen there is a girl named joe and they both played tennis. This is the information to us. Now, they started at 10 o'clock. If I talk about the game, the time uh, when the game was started, it was 10 o'clock. And when it finished, it was 11.30. So, game started at 10 o'clock. Game finished at 11.30. Fair enough. But when we went there at 10.30, what did we see? We saw that they were playing tennis. They were playing tennis. Now, what does this book want to tell you? I will just make you understand within some seconds. Let me read this too. They were playing is equal to they were in the middle of playing. They had not finished. Now, if you want to know about the like helping verbs and all, so you already know was, were and the main verb should be ing. So now let me make you understand the way I want. Okay. Here we go. See guys, what I'm saying, suppose there is, there is a guy, okay, suppose this is you, now suppose you went to park, okay, you went to park, this is the place which is called park, you went to park, now what you can see here you can see that somebody is walking okay you can see that there are some children okay who are playing so somebody is walking some children are playing you can see that um, some people are playing cricket okay somebody is cycling so if you can see so many things happening, like I am not able to make sight that somebody is cycling. So what is going on? If you talk about present time, in present time, if you see any action going on, you have to use is RM plus verb ing. Like you can say, okay, you know, this man is walking, these children are playing, this guy is cycling, you know, some people are playing cricket. You can use present continuous tense. Fair enough. So you went there, you saw everything happening. Now when you return home, when you return home, so this time you are at your home, this is your present time. And this when you went to park and you whatever you saw, it became the past. Now when it became the past and if you start narrating a story, then definitely whatever the present continuous moment was there, that present continuous will be changed into past continuous. So what I want to tell you is, let me erase this. 
I want to tell you, give me a few seconds, please. Okay, I want to tell you that whenever you talk about any ongoing action, ongoing action in, in any past time, so definitely you have to use was, were, plus verb ing, irrespective of the fact what people think in Hindi, Punjabi, Madrashi, Madrasi, Tamil, Telugu, whatever. Okay, don't think about any Hindi pehchan like Raha Tha and Rahiti, don't think about that. Think as English people think. Like see, something, suppose we are talking about any action. Okay, so the action is started, action is started at 10 m, suppose 10 m. Okay, action finished, finished at 11.30, 11.30 m. So if I have to talk about these two actions, I can say that, okay, um, suppose there is a person named name Peter. Okay, I, think I can say that, okay, Peter uh, started his game, started his game at 10 a.m. I say 10 a.m. Okay, I can say Peter finished, you know, finished just here finished his game at 11.30, 11.30 a.m. It means I am just giving you the information what Peter did. This is the one time action. Whatever Peter did, that is second form. But if I say, if I say that yesterday, yesterday I went to park, okay, I went to park at 10.30. I went to park at 10.30 a.m. And I saw Peter, I saw, I saw that uh, two people dash, 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 what play tennis. Now, what do you think? Should I say two people played tennis? If I'm say I went there at 10.30, so 10.30, I saw something going on. At 10.30, I saw that there were two people and playing activity was going on. This activity did not start in front of me. If I went there, when I went there, I saw something was going on. I don't know when it started. I don't know when, when it will finish. But when I saw, the motion was going on. So if anything was going on, so definitely you have to use past continuous tense. You can't say played. You have to say two people were playing, playing tennis. Like this way you have to say. The situation is simple. Situation is yesterday or in any past time. Whether it was yesterday, it was day before yesterday, it was a week ago. In any past time, if you saw something going on. If you saw that anything was going on or if you were doing anything, you know, if you were performing any ac action in which was going on, you don't want to say when it is started. You don't want to show when it will finish. You just want to show that moment when something was going on. You have to use past continuous. Don't think about Rahatha. Don't think about in any other language. It could be Marathi, Punjabi, anything. Why are you going to think about this? Think as English people think. If I have to say about yesterday, any action which I was performing, which was going on. So I cannot say this. If I say yesterday, if I say yesterday at, at 9 a.m. If I say yesterday at, uh, at 9 a.m. And if I want to tell you about any action which was really being performed by me. I want to tell you about that continuity. I am bound to use past continuous. I have to see yesterday at 9 a.m. I was. I was watching TV. I can't say. I can't say yesterday at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. I watched TV. If I say I watched TV. See the difference between past and definite past continuous. If I use second form. It means I don't want to tell you the action was going on. I just want to tell you I completed any action at that particular time. If I say at 9 o'clock, I watch TV. It means I just want to let you know that when it was 9 o'clock, I did something. 
okay but if i want to tell you that you know nine o'clock nine o'clock i was watching tv so if i'm saying at nine o'clock i was watching tv it means i did not start watching tv at nine o'clock when maybe like i started i started watching tv maybe at 8 30 who knows maybe i started at 8 30 okay and suppose i finished i finished watching tv maybe at 11 o'clock maybe 11 a.m and if somebody asked me about my 9 a.m activity 9 a.m whatever the activity was being done by me that continuity if somebody asked me hey what were you doing at nine o'clock if i have to reveal this the action which i was doing definitely i have to use past continuous tense because i am just talking about the motion which was going on so i was watching tv it shows that watching tv did not start at nine o'clock watching tv may have been started by me at eight, eight o'clock eight thirty but nine o'clock this action was going on so past continuous means what continuous means means you want to you want to tell someone about about the action which was being performed by the subject simple as that subject you don't want to tell about when it started okay and when it will finish simple it's only ongoing action. only ongoing action ongoing action whatever was going on past continuous okay suppose you tell a story you tell a story you said that yesterday yesterday i went to my friend's home i went to my friend's home so you are using here went you are not saying i was going just because you want to tell the people what you did so whatever action you did that has to be in v v2 past indefinite form so yesterday i went to my friend's home okay this action was done by me okay if i say i i knocked the door okay this action was done by me my friend opened the door this action was done by my friend okay i entered his home or his room okay i entered his home action was done by me okay i saw this action was done by me i saw that now i'm talking about his father his father now what i saw i saw something going on so i have to say i saw that his father was reading a newspaper news paper what do i want to tell you i want to tell you like when i saw that time newspaper reading activity was going on it was going on i cannot say his father read a newspaper no i can't say this when i saw motion the mo that activity was going on i don't know at what time the reading newspaper process was started no idea i don't know when it is going to end no idea what i know that when i saw something was going on so whatever was going on you when you saw something going on in the middle of that action something was going on that is your past continuous i cannot speak more than this i believe you must have got it okay so say speak anything if you say that um, that time that time his mother was and if you say you want to show the process which she was doing so her his mother was making food okay if you say making food it means you want to say that something was going on making food process was going on if you say his mother made tea for me it means you don't want to tell about the process going on you just want to reveal that whatever his mother did means whatever the action was completed not action going on so this is the difference between past indefinite and past, past continuous if you want to show that 
a person any subject did something completed action one time action past indefinite if action which was just going on no idea when it started no idea when it is going to end past continuous i think you must have got it now let's read the book fine you already know we use was and were for this so if we talk about the examples here you can see third person singular he she it you have to use was like he was playing you know she was playing it was playing or whatever you say with we you they plural you have to use what like we were working they were working like this now i was doing something is equal to i was in the middle of doing it at a certain time means at any point of time if any action was going on you know this is what i have taught you if any action was going on i am bound to use past continuous tense okay the action or situation is started before this time but had not finished if around 10 30 i saw something going on so i cannot say like they played i have to say they were playing because maybe when i saw that time this action was not started this action may have been started before this maybe 2 minutes back 5 minutes back no idea but when i saw that time action was going on it means in the middle of doing when i saw the playing activity was going on when i saw cooking process was going on so this is what i have to say if i saw then i can speak about some other subject if i want to tell about myself that what action was being performed by me at that certain time of course past continuous has to be used simple okay so i started doing i was doing i finished doing. so you have to talk about this I means something is started something finished here but you don't want to reveal about a starting point you don't want to reveal about finishing point you just want to talk about whatever was going on then you have to use past continuous tense this last this time last year i was living in hong kong it means you just want to talk about last year whatever was going on okay your living activity was going on what were you doing at 10 o'clock last night if somebody wants to know about a particular time suppose 10 o'clock is the past time if somebody wants to know about the action being performed by you at 10 o'clock then question must be asked in past continuous i cannot say hey what did you do at 10 o'clock if i say what did you do at 10 o'clock it means i just want to know about the action which you completed at 10 o'clock but if i ask you hey what were you doing at 10 o'clock it means i want to know about the process which was going on at 10 o'clock and it was being performed by you i don't want to know when it was started i don't want to know when it will finish simply the action which was going on. fair enough okay now see here compare i was doing it means compare past continuous and i did past simple what is the difference i was doing it means in the middle of an action and i was i did it means completed action which is what i have been teaching you for some minutes we were walking home we were walking home okay when i met dan in the middle of walking home so you can also say like you were doing something and suddenly something happened suppose you say that i was cooking food it means what in storytelling you want to reveal the process which was being done by you you were cooking food and suddenly you say like i was cooking food suddenly someone came so someone came it means you want to talk about any action which took place the action took place when something was already going on so if something was already going on this is past continuous if any action took place at this going on time this it has to be in past and after so past and after it past continuous you can use both together how let me tell you fine oh wait a minute okay so if you want you can use past continuous past continuous plus past indefinite past indefinite how first you have to talk about any action which was already going on if you say yesterday yesterday i was watching tv watching tv it means what do you want to say you want to talk about yourself and what you were doing 
yesterday you were watching TV. If you want, you can talk about a particular certain time as well, like yesterday around 5 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So yesterday I was watching TV, suppose yesterday uh, at 9 a.m. Okay. So now I'm going to talk about a particular time that at 9 a.m. What action was being done by me? I was watching TV. This watching TV action was being done by me. Now if I want to talk about any action which took place at this going on time. So this action which took place must be in past indefinite. So yesterday at 9 a.m. I was watching TV. Suddenly mm, a guy or a boy entered my room entered my room so you can see past continuous and past indefinite so if something happened at that moment when something was already going on so going on should be in past continuous and if any action took place must be in past indefinite got it fine so you can say uh, like uh, yesterday at 6 p.m. Yesterday at 6 p.m. when I was walking in the park, when I was walking in the park, suddenly, suddenly, someone called my name. Someone called my name. So now what do you want to say? What do you want to talk about? You just want to talk about like suppose this is you and yesterday any action was being done by you this is you okay and yesterday you were just walking you were having a walk it means it was your ongoing action so you want to tell your viewers or anybody whoever you are telling your narration your story you want to say that any action was already going on you don't want to talk about when this action is started you don't want to talk about when this action will finish you just want to talk about that this action was going on i was walking and now you have to talk about like when this action was going on suddenly one action took place suddenly something happened so yesterday at 6 pm when i was walking in the park now suddenly something happened someone called my name someone called my name means that action took place suddenly something took place so this is past indefinite got it Okay, fine. You can say that something happened, past simple, in the middle of something else, past continuous. My, my Matt, phoned, Matt phoned while we were having dinner. Same activity, this action. Matt phoned me. He phoned me. I want to show. When he phoned me? When we were having dinner. Means having dinner activity was going on. So I think this is also done. Now let's see here. Some verbs, for example, no and want are normally used in continuous. Normally are not used in continuous. You already know if I talk about the word no, want, and there were so many words like taste, smell. So as per the condition, you already know that we cannot use ing. So you can't say that we were good friends. No, you can say we were good friends. You can't say we uh, we were knowing. You can't say you have to say we knew each other well. You can't say we were knowing, you can't say we were wanting, you can't say like this. I was enjoying the party but Chris wanted to go home. You can't say Chris was wanting to go home. So these are the things. I think it's quite clear. Now let's do the exercise. Fine guys. So look at the exercise. What do you think will come here? See. Complete the sentence. Choose from. You can see that there are some options given in this box. You have to choose any one and fill in the blanks. One has already been chosen and shown. Like if you talk about this number one, it is written today Helen is wearing a skirt. Okay. Yesterday she dashed trousers. It means we are talking about yesterday she is wearing a skirt, but yesterday she was wearing trousers. Got it? What did he say? I don't know. I don't know suppose any action was being done by me suddenly somebody said something so I don't know what he said I'm saying I dash so I dash what I wasn't listening maybe I wasn't listening means I'm just talking about like I wasn't listening so I don't know what he said we dash at the back of the theater we couldn't hear very well so see we couldn't hear very well this is past indefinite means this action took place okay but when it took place when something was already going on, so we dash at the back of the theater. So we what? We were 
we were we were we were looking no we were sitting yeah it could be we were sitting at the back of the theater we couldn't hear very well fine this time last year steve dash on a farm so last year steve was doing something on a farm so what he was doing is steve was uh, working sitting were going i think working so steve was working on a farm they didn't see me they dash in my direction so they didn't see me this is past indefinite and they dash in my direction it means they weren't looking yeah. they weren't looking in my direction that's why they didn't see me okay uh, the weather was bad it was very cold and it dash weather was bad one fact it was very cold one fact it dash now we want to talk about something going on so it was snowing it was snow i saw you in car this is past indefinite one time action i saw you in car where dash you now i want to know about that action which was going on you were sitting in the car and car was going somewhere so i want to know about the car where it was going so where dash so where was working no where were you going yeah where were you going you can put here where were you going. i saw kate a few minutes ago she dash for you she dash for you she was looking for you so by this way you can complete this if you want to do this exercise as i told you go to the telegram channel of mine english with chandan and from there you can take this, the pdf of this book and do the exercises by your own in order to get good command okay so thank you very much for watching this video see you in another episode till then take care keep practicing and have fun thank you guys